What's up, baby? Welcome back to another episode of Evie's Cliches from Coast to Coast, episode number seven. Now, today I'm bringing to you another post commentated battle because, to be honest, there are the fastest, the best ones. And to be honest, I get to kind of, you know, think about what really happened, what was going through my thoughts, and so on, all that good stuff. But, anyways, um, today we're battling against Jackson, aka uh, Singing Sweet Coon, I believe on the twitter now i found this guy this fine gentleman on the twitter and uh you know decided to add him and it was pretty pretty fun getting to know this guy um he does have one of the my favorite typings that some of you guys already know that ghost type is like my favorite typing of the entire game it's just it's beautiful i mean look at these pokemon i mean despite the fact that Aegislash slash is banned and all that good stuff it is a beautiful pokemon overall it is so powerful i cannot believe anyways so my opponent brings in a mix ou team now in 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 instances of tears is it doesn't really matter but he does in fact um i don't want to spoil too much but he does bring two uber pokemon and that's all i'm saying now it's up to you to know what what it is, but uh, he does bring in the Spirit Tomb Gengar, the Miss Magius, which is uh, and, and you Pokemon, which is pretty interesting. The Trevenant, the Aegislash, and of course that annoying prankster. I call mine Goonie because uh, you know it's one of my friends. Beautiful, beautiful name. Uh, but uh, brings in the prankster Sableye. Now on my side, I'm still trying to modify the team, and I'm bringing it again. Uh, except this time I am bringing in Primate instead of the Tauros and I have on my side Armando, Armaldo, Dusclops, the BHM, the Mega Beautiful, oh my goodness, this, this Pokemon is just clutch, it is just clutch, ah, the Mega, um, <laughs> the Mega Camera, aka Hawaii, uh, beautiful name, maybe beautiful name, uh, this is a beautiful name, Primate and, um, of course, the uh, Rafflesia, our vile plume. Thank you, thank you again, uh, Judah, for that beautiful nickname. You, my friend, are the best. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and play that. Po I mean, we're gonna go ahead and press that play button because uh, I want to show you guys what really happened in this battle. Of course, there is an a t there is a tier, a huge tier difference here. It's almost like a whole gap of a difference, but. Um, you'll see, you'll see what really happened, it's pretty crazy, he starts off with a Sableye, and, uh, I decided to stay in, because I was, uh, thinking he was gonna go ahead and Willow, perhaps, and either way, that gave me the opportunity to go ahead and go for X Scizor, I really thought this was super effective, did not know that Ghost types actually resist, um, you know, actually resist Bug type, I had no idea, but still, it did a good amount of damage to the Sableye, uh, showing me that this is actually a special defensive set knowing that he was gonna go for a recover I went ahead and set up the rocks ladies and gentlemen because of course um, What's better way than already have the rocks he didn't even see anything that was gonna go ahead and get rid of the rocks on his side So I might as well take advantage as he goes for another uh, calm mine after that as you can sell you can tell I go for another egg scissor to hopefully try to end this uh, Pokemon's life. See how much damage it did, and oh my goodness, that was a high roll because that did a whole bunch of damage. I don't even know. I, don't, don't even ask me how. I just the mechanics, the Pokemon mechanics. Now Miss Magius comes in, and of course I was like, okay, this thing might be able to take me out, but. For some weird reason, uh, my opponent had a side beam, maybe because of the fact that it confuses you, I'm not too sure, but I go for the straight knockoff and that one hit KO, one hit KOs the Miss Magus. I'm not sure if it had um, the choice scarf, but I mean, well, I was thinking it had the choice scarf, but actually had the choice specs. Now, a choice spec side beam with a Miss Magus, that was a little bit of damage, but nonetheless, he brings in Trevor then, of course, and uh, goes for the Horn Leech. I thought this thing, um, I mean, at that range, I really thought that thing was going to take me out, but I forgot that I am defensively invested. Of course, um, it, it is neutral damage because of my rock typing. Uh, well, actually, because of my bug typing, but, you know, rock typing in there. But I still carry the um, carry the life orb and went for a X Scizor. Uh, just to do super effective damage. However, I should have gone for the knockoff just to knock off the the citrus. But either way, I come in with a primate and bam, 
slash this guy's night. No more sweet dreams for you, my friend, because uh, you ain't going to sleep tonight. Uh, straight up, straight up, for sure. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Anyways, he comes in with the spirit tomb. And right here, really, 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 really thought he was going to go for the willow. And um, I am... <laughs> I am carrying the Lumberry on Primate, but for some reason I did not want to risk it. I did not want to risk it, um, and I uh, went went and came in with the Dusclops. Now, that right there, I did not predict the Psychic. I will be that honest, but him going for the Psychic was the most beautiful thing in life. <laughs> I come in with the Dusclops, take that Psychic like nobody's business. He goes for the Sucker Punch as I set up my Trick Room. Now, as you can tell, I have the Primate. This is kind of a mix of two, uh, like, I have the, the Trick Room in the team just in case. Uh, actually, it's a Trick Room team, but I have the Primate just in case. Uh, as I see that he does have the, the the Sucker Punch, I go ahead and go for the Willow because that Sucker Punch is, in fact, going to be Stab, and we don't want that, do we? Mm, not today. Not today, my friend. So, uh, of course, he goes for a Hardcore Shadow Ball, and that does a whole bunch of damage, um, but it's always good to have that burn damage in there, residual uh, damage. And I didn't want him to go for another one, so I went ahead and re withdrew into Reflecia, our beautiful MVP Pokemon right here. Actually, I made this whole team around Reflecia, uh, our Bioplume, to be honest. So um, he kept going. I mean, he has the lefties. But that burn damage is still taking effect, so it's neutralized. He goes for another Psychic. Of course, Reflecia, however, is Assault Vested. As you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, dang, do none. So, right here, I go for a Boom Blast because I know that is super effective damage. And unfortunately, it cuts short from taking him out. Of course, it is not Stab. So, figures, right? Figures as much. <laughs> um, so like I said, the leftovers is still there, the burn damage is there, and right here, I just decided to withdraw because I'm like, you know what, the burn damage is still going to mess him up, it doesn't matter what he goes for, he might even go for the sucker punch, who knows, but he actually in fact goes for the psychic, and as I bring BHM, and look at that damage, oh my goodness, somebody, 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 get that boy band-aid, and of course the burn heal because he needs it, um, even though know, Psychic doesn't affect the special attack side, it's still not going to do enough to me. Um, not even much because Psychic does resist Psychic if you guys didn't know. You're, you saw it first here, you're learning it. You're learning it now if you didn't know. Psychic resists Psychic, so... <laughs> he comes in with the Gengar. Of course, the Gengar is going to go hard in the paint. Now, right here, I'm like, okay, this thing might be able to take me out. But I'm not too sure because I'm special defensively invested. And I do have that Stab Psychic, so... Uh, let's go hard or go home, you know? Do or die, baby. <laughs> okay, so he goes for the Shadow Ball. Of course, he's going to outspeed as he goes for the Mega Evolution. Um, he doesn't get a stat raise, however, not yet. Maybe he would have uh, taken me out next turn. But the Psychic isn't enough to take away this Poison-type Pokemon. Oh, that's the only bad thing about... Uh, Gengar that that poison typing kind of messes him up however levitate still gets a good uh, you know up there because of the fact that it's not affected uh, against uh, ground type moves so it's pretty good it's pretty good uh, I love Gengar he's, he's like up there on the top top 10 of my favorite ghost types anyway so egg slash does come out go to the shadow sneak and um, I predicted this to be enough to take me out so it's no surprise it actually did um, I was ready to go down. I didn't think nobody in my team wanted to take a Shadow Sneak from a Aegislash. Slash. So I come in with Dusclops, especially not my Dusclops. I'm not. I wasn't thinking about preserving the that um that beautiful BHM. By the way, guys, if you have any suggestions for the BHM's nickname, please do. Please do. I don't know. Oh, no. But I do go ahead and burn the Aegislash, Slash as you can tell uh, Because I decided to be like you know what nobody in his team wants to take a burn might as well keep going with a willow um, He goes for the night slash and still does not do much of course that is not stab I think it would have been better for him to stay with a shadow ball perhaps uh, Because I am defensively invested in my dust clubs and as you can tell I'm surviving. I'm strong. I'm powerful now 
he goes to a shadow sneak and of course this is enough to take me out even though i'm invested that is stab i am i am not living to see another day i'm just saying i'm just saying but the burn is still there still doing a good amount of damage i mean residual damage of course and um i should be good to go i bring in the, the beautiful beautiful state or island of hawaii why did i say state i don't even know maybe because it's part of the united states yeah so uh we get the mega evolution on the hawaii our beautiful camera and go for the lava plume and that <laughs> my people my people that right there is just the nastiest thing i've ever seen since a slash creation we melted the crap out of that steel and got us a win now uh, i'm telling you man that was that was something else to me because i did not expect my beautiful little nu team to defeat this uh ou mixed here uh it is threatful. It is very threatful. But nonetheless, um, that was an amazing battle. Thank you very much, Jackson, for that right there. Um, I really do appreciate you coming out that way. Um, I really didn't even expect him to bring this stuff. I was like, bro. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. So I sure did. Uh, I guess uh, I went hard in the paint and uh, did what I had to do. Uh, dunked a little bit here and there. But uh, I play some I play some basketball in high school. Just letting you know. That's why I'm bringing the references. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, you probably, you guys probably didn't even care about that. Deep. <laughs> so anyways, um, like I said, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And like always, just sit back, relax, and uh, keep doing your thing.